Drink up. Is it supposed to be like smoking this much? Let me know. It's not like burning. <laughs> Hello, it is Monday. No, it's not. It is Sunday. I have not gotten the day of the week right at all in the past like few days. It's about 10 and I'm gonna film a little bit before I'm off for the day. Off into the world is what I mean. Because my skin has been so dry since it's been getting cold and I need to, my usual remedies are not enough. Oh, well, I already got mascara on my face. Anyway, I'm getting ready and I'm going to a little holiday brunch, hang out, get together at my friends Michelle and Aline's apartment. That's at one, so I have a few hours before then, so I need to get a little bit of filming done. I think I'm gonna film a video that you'll see later this week. Get ahead on like maybe a little brand stuff, like sponsorship stuff. It's tricky with Vlogmas and uploading every day because um, when you do a collaboration with a brand and you're promoting their product and you know, there's a contract signed and they're paying you, then you have to send it to them to get it approved before you can post it. it usually gets approved within a couple days so it's easy to put up i want to keep uploading every day it's yeah so i think i'm filming more of my brand deals like a little bit in advance and putting them in the vlogs later You'll probably see it in the upcoming vlog It'd be kind of funny if you guys comment down below and guess which vlogmas video i filmed the sponsorship in <laughs> anyway so i'm gonna do a little bit of that while i have time on the weekend and i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna bring to michelle and Aline's for the thing they said they're doing a charcuterie board and hot chocolate so i think i might bring what's like a good alcohol with hot chocolate last time we did i brought champagne and we did like apple cider mimosa kind of thing last time we just spent like four hours sitting and laughing and eating and it was great so i'm sure it'll be more of the same but this time christmasy but yeah that's what's on tap for today's vlogmas should be a grand old time i'm gonna open the advent calendar before we leave today because i forgot yesterday i realized i thought i had done it in the morning and then I was editing my video last night and I was like, I didn't open it. I need to just make a habit of doing it like at the same time every day. I'm gonna wear my ugly Christmas sweater I got from H&M yesterday. If you saw that vlog, it's just this like angel picture that says, Dear Santa, define good. I just thought it was funny. So I'm gonna wear this probably with just leggings. Does it matter? No, <laughs> very amped about it. Would recommend. Ugly sweaters are not required for this party, but I'm still gonna count out on my bucket list as attending an ugly Christmas sweater party because I'm going to a holiday party and wearing an ugly Christmas sweater. So, boo. I should be doing a load of laundry before I have to leave. I'm gonna go do that and then probably make some avocado toast once I'm ready, do some filming, and yeah. It is now 12. Party starts at one. I think I'm just gonna be a little late, but that's okay because I still need to, I just filmed one thing, just took my workout clothes out and put the rest in the dryer. So it's gonna take me an hour to dry. And in the meantime, I need to make food. I need to film another video. So I'm gonna do that. Like I would just leave my clothes in the dryer if it was any other day, but since it's Sunday, like other people need to be using the machines, which the machines are not like that busy in my apartment, but there is another load. Someone else had the washer on. So I definitely just wanna like take it out. And then I still need to pick up something. And I was like, okay, if I have extra time before the party, I'll go to Trader Joe's, which is out of the way, but I'm not gonna have that time. So I guess I'll just go to a little grocery store around here and, um, find something i need to now i'm in like scramble mode because uh, i just have too many things and not enough time to do the things one thing is i need to eat food because i haven't eaten yet and drink more water because hydration is key for everyone what else do i need to say oh i might as well open the advent calendar all this is heating up actually i'll put bread on the stove first and then advent calendar. bread is on stove advent is on calendar hotel is on trivago all right, all right, all right. So since I forgot yesterday's again, let's see, what was that? That was number eight. Open up eight. Wow, is it Vlogmas Day 9? What the actual hell? Okay, write a thank you to send to a military friend. I do know someone actually in my sorority who's in the military, so I'm gonna write her something nice. That's a good thing. Okay, number nine. Oh, cute little Christmas tree window. Go outside and shout what you're thankful about. I'm grateful for cauliflower gnocchi. Ah, <sighs> felt good. Cook faster bread, we got a lot to do. Hell yeah. That's all. I just filmed that video. I'm actually right on time and it's almost one o'clock. So I'm gonna go change into my Christmas sweater, run downstairs, get my laundry, finish putting it on this thing. I'll probably just be like 20 minutes late, which is fine. Most people are probably running late anyway. That's what I'm telling myself. 
feel like there was something else I wanted to do before I left today. Here we are kids in the sweater, in the outfit. I'm wearing some Fabletics leggings with my, it's not a sweater actually, it's kind of like a long sleeve tee because it's not like fuzzy on the inside, but I kind of like it because I'm dying inside. Um, but I mean, it, it's inside, it's warm and I'm dying. I'm just gonna throw on a black puffer and then I need to go because it's already after one. I'm gonna probably take an Uber and just stop at a little, my laundry luckily everything dried like dry dry warm dry which is the best which i was worried because i put a towel in there and sometimes that can make things not as dry but it dried beautifully and i'm just really proud say dry one more time I'm take care of all this shit when i get back off to the holiday ugly christmas sweater party secured champagne went to another store secured orange shoes instant mimosas boom i mentioned it in a previous vlog but people have still been asking about my phone case and it's from Case Defy. It's got my cute little, well, it's not my initials, but it's XT, which is kind of like an abbreviation for Christy. I didn't show you guys the other ones I got, but I'll show you now because they're really cute. And this is the Case Defy case I have on my phone, and this is a custom impact case. So it looks really, really, that's what I like about it is it's very subtle and like sleek and light. I was never into heavy phone cases, like bulky ones. Never wanted to get those like giant where they're like, this is bulletproof. It's this big and you're like, how do you fit this anywhere? I just like it because it's subtle. Like I like subtle phone cases. It does have military grade drop protection even though it is really light and thin and sleek. So this bumper is the magic thing. It's clear, but honestly like, okay, watch this. I'm gonna drop it on the floor. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, there she is on the floor. This was not editing. She sticks the landing. I'm gonna do it again. Now I just wanna keep dropping it. Yeah, it's I didn't even do that intentionally. So when I upgraded my phone, I was like, okay, I should get something that's actually protective and has a front bumper. And it's just really, really cute too. Like I like how simple it is, clear. You can customize the colors, you can customize the bumper, you can customize the words, you can make it go across. They have a bunch of different fonts, colors, um, positioning of the words. It doesn't have to just be two letters. Like you can make it a whole phrase. They have really cute options. So I wanted to show you the other two that I got as well. Literally the Hannah Montana of phone cases because it's the best of both worlds between actually protecting it and still being cute. The mirror case. So look how sick you can just see. Oh, now this is full exception. Wow. Um, this is the silver mirror case. They also have a gold one. It's also functional because like you can check your makeup. I love metallic, especially silver. And then I also just got it in plain clear without the text on it. I wanted to share with you guys my like discount code and everything earlier in Vlogmas because they're such good gifts. You can customize these for your friends or your family or whatever. I just feel like everyone has a phone these days. Everyone needs protection from dropping it, but it's like a fun way to make it personal too because then you can customize it to what you know that they would like or the colors or whatever. It's the clear one so you can see what it looks like off of the phone and just how simple and sleek and light it is. Very obsessed with Case Defy. I mentioned that young discount. If you go to casedefy.com slash Christy, then you get 20% off your order, which is such a good deal. They already have good prices, I think, for like the amount of protection against your phone. 20% off with my code. Someone's honking outside. They want a discount code. You get a discount. You get a discount. 20% off. Click the link down below and go to casedefy.com slash Christy again and use my code to get 20% off. Thanks Case Buy for sponsoring this vlog. Also, I like the clear because then you can still see the color of the phone. Even though my phone is white, it's not even colored, but you know what I mean? I'm very transparent, okay? Yeah, okay, before people start eating it, I wanna film their holiday spread. So cute. Wow, charcuterie board. It's just so pretty. Just to document before we all eat it. Cheers. Cheers. Their beautiful rooftop. We just took some pics. Nice graceful jump. Whoa! Wow. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, it's so much nicer and warm. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Oh, you almost got it! Cheers, everyone. We had some two, two near death experiences today. One by fire, one by court. Um, hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, only wow. from Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Can I add that caveat? Costco is the only place I will eat hot dogs. I don't really wow. go to baseball yeah. games. <laughs> Did we all say yes? If we all say yes, then we all drink. Oh, yeah. We all get hot dogs. <laughs> I, I, I drank the best. There's a bar in Brooklyn that, um, that every single drink you order, you get a hot dog. What? what? Is it Costco? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I eat hot 
hot dogs for humanity. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new charity, hot dogs. Hot dogs for humanity. <laughs> Habitat for humanity. See what you got. Well, that was for a drink. That, that and a hot dog. That's cheap anyway. Wow. Where is this? Let's go. It's in Brooklyn. Like, I don't know. I passed. Here, I'll, I'll text. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my turn. Oh, um, well, it's something controversial. Um, oh, you know what I despise? Um, Capri Musketeers bars. Ugh, I hate what? Oh, I like those. The nougat? <laughs> nougat is good. Okay, then I'll drink by myself to nougat. Oh, oh no. no. It's a no for me. Are we all no? Yeah. Then we all drink. This is definitely a me problem because last Friendsgiving I went to, someone caught on fire. What? And now someone's jacket kind of, I don't know why this is has been by this candle. <laughs> Wait, it looks like a like, cigarette oh, burn. burn. The zipper? Wow, guys. This is a wild phenomenon. Michelle. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. Bye. Thank you for having us. It's been fun. Back home in my. I hate to call them the ugly Christmas sweater because that's just rude. My stupid Christmas sweater. I'm like very tired for some reason. Maybe it was the champagne. But it was such a fun day hanging out. We were literally there just for hours like talking and laughing and telling stories and playing games. And I don't think I explained in my own vlog, but um, I explained it in their vlog. Go watch Michelle and Aline's vlog if you haven't already. I'll link their channel down below. The game we were playing where we were going around the table is one that I learned from a podcast where it's actually a really fun party game. So take it to your next party. I always bring it out and always, I mean like twice since I learned it. I mean, you don't know what to do and you don't want to like play a card game, but everyone has a drink and you just go around. It's a very simple game. You just go around the circle and you just state anything in the entire world, but it's better if it's something controversial. Like I'd say Taylor Swift. And if you, you have to pick love it or hate it. So let's just call the game love it or hate it. I just made that up. I don't know what it's called. If you love it, you raise your glass. And if you hate it, or you actively dislike it, you put your glass on the table and then the minority drinks. So whoever, like if there's two people that said hate it, they would drink. Um, it's a very fun game. And then if it's unanimous, you all drink. That's what we were playing in the clip that I filmed, but lots of fun. It's a great conversation starter, especially in a group of people you don't know as well. I wore an ugly Christmas sweater to a party. So we are checking that off the bucket list. We're gonna add one little ornament to this beautiful Christmas tree my Vanna White moment for you guys. And on to the next one, am I right? It's one another day of the weekend before I go back to work tomorrow. But I have really exciting plans after work. If you're like an OG watcher of me, then you definitely want to watch. Okay, I don't know, I don't want to give it away. Subscribe if you're not already, this is the time to do it because then you'll be, well, if you press the bell, then you'll be notified whenever I upload. I'm gonna be uploading almost every day until Christmas, so stick around because it's a really fun time. Let me know how you guys are enjoying Vlogmas this far, thus far, so far, far. Okay, love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next vlog tomorrow. Bye. And remember, Christmas is about love, not about proof. It's just about giving love and family.